this is the Hover Air X1 and this is a pocket sized self-flying drone that has AI features. It's about half the size of my TV remote. If you compare it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can see it's about three quarters the size of the iPhone. It's very portable and it has amazing AI features and video capabilities that I'm going to be showing you right here. This is the follow mode that I was using the Hover X1 to record and this follow mode has the drone basically behind me following me. I'm trying to do some cool CR7 skills left and right to see if I can lose the drone and you can see it's keeping up pretty well and it's keeping me as the center of focus or at the center of the screen and even when I try and sprint real fast and try leave this drone you can see it's able to keep up and when I take a sharp left it's also able to keep up here I'm cycling and you can see it's keeping the footage very smooth and very stable it just avoided some signs as you can see and when you see when I took a left turn it's able to keep me in the center of frame you can see some tree branches as well as some tree trunks and some signposts that it's able to avoid while following me from behind and even when traffic approaches you can see the car it swayed to the right a little bit to try and avoid the car and mind you that here there is some strong winds that were going around and when I try and speed up at this point in time you can see the hover AX1 basically rolls up to try and avoid some obstacles that might be close to the ground but then it was able to catch up once I hit that straight road right there. This is follow mode using two different subjects to give you an idea of how it will be if you're following yourself and you're playing with someone else or you're playing soccer with a team it does really well even when you cross paths with the other player it does really good at keeping you at the center of the focus so follow mode is really good you can always customize it and now this is dolly track mode it's one of the custom modes that can be set with the hover air x1 and since this drone is self-flying or self-powered you can see right here i'm basically just riding and i'm on a phone call i don't have to worry about it to know whether i'm in frame I'm just on my phone call and it's doing its thing and right here you can see the footage looks smooth it's is moving in reverse so you can see it's trying its best to avoid signposts and tree branches and then with this dolly track mode you can see when I try and move a little bit faster the speed of the drone also increases and you can see traffic coming by it was able to avoid that and when you try and move too fast or go in the edges quickly of the drone the dolly track mode in this instant turned to the follow mode so it's now following me from behind and you can see basically how it looks it's pretty cool that you are able to switch switch from one mode to another and with the people on the left hand side it was still able to keep me at the focus. Believe it or not the audio you are listening to is coming from the iPhone that's connected to the Hover X1 and the mode I'm recording in is called Dolly Track so if I go down it goes down if I go up it goes up and now if I go back you can see that this is basically cancelling all the noise that the propellers and the drone makes as you are walking. And because this is dolly track, if I walk this way, it goes this way. And if I walk this way, it goes this way. And it's just following me in reverse. If I was to run, you can see it does a really good job at doing this. In Just in comparison, this is how the audio would sound if I wasn't using the AI feature to cancel out or record using my iPhone as a microphone. This next mode is called hover mode and you have hover mode with tracking off where the drone just basically hovers and then there's hover mode with tracking on where the drone is in one specific position and then it's just 
detecting or detecting or tracking you as the subject and right here you can see when i move to the right it's able to follow me even when i hop up and down it's able to keep me at the center of the frame and uh, this next mode is called reveal mode the drone just zooms out and reveals the background and it gives you this footage in two pieces and once it reaches the maximum set height that you've set it comes back to reveal the subject right here and you can see here it's pretty good now this mode is called orbit mode you set a height and a distance that you want it to orbit and you set a duration of how long you want the orbit to last from one minute five minutes or continuous orbit and you can see here it's doing an orbit around me and this is just the same feature of orbit but just in a different environment it's pretty good you can see the dynamic range here and i'm recording at 2.7k at 30 fps and the detail is pretty good and usable now here is orbit with two people in case you're curious to see how it would hold up you can see when you have your subject that's being tracked as the center it tries by all means to not get confused between the two moving subject and here you can see it's keeping the subject at the center of focus even though we are crossing paths or blocking each other as we pass the ball it's doing a pretty good job during this orbit mode that would have set so that's a plus for this drone and now this mode is called overhead mode and basically the drone rises to a height that you would have set while it's rotating on its axis the same time it's rising and you can see here how it's going i tried to throw the ball to the drone to see whether it would lose the orbit but you hear it's actually doing a good job at uh, coming back to the subject and to the center where it started this is hover snap mode and basically the drone has audio and sound and it takes pictures like this and you can see the snaps that it's taking and uh, yeah the pictures are 12 megapixels so they're pretty usable and this is how it looks the hover snap mode and it adds some background music now this is a sample picture of the 12 megapixel pictures that it takes and now testing obstacle avoidance with uh, the hover ax1 here you can see some branches on the right hand side it was able to detect and avoid those pretty confidently now here as you go around the tree you can see it's able to detect the tree and goes around same with the front tree as we approach the tree you can see the hover is either deciding to stay to the left it was deciding to stay to the left but since the subject moved to the right you can see it was able to avoid the tree by going to the right trying to keep the subject at the center of the frame and now here you can basically see as the subject goes around the tree too quickly you can see the hover isn't able to make the turn quick and it comes down like this and this doesn't damage the propeller since they are protected and i just was able to hold it with the palm of my hand this is the box that the hover ax1 comes in it's made by zero zero robotics and this drone is well packaged you can see this just slides off like this and now you have this hover imprint right here if you slide it off it comes off pretty good and now you have some paperwork about the hover x1 and when you open up the paperwork you have paper that is the quick start for the hover ax1 and when you go through this paperwork you will see a qr code that will tell you or direct you to the app store or play store depending on the device that you use and prompt you to download this hover x1 self camera app and then once you open it you'll be able to activate your drone from that but continuing with the unboxing you can see here we have the other accessories that come with this so for once you do get like a hover bag that you can use to package your drone in and we have a USB A to USB C cable that allows you to be able to charge your drone now this is the hover x1 
it's a micro drone that weighs about 125 grams and in Canada where you have advanced and basic licensing this means that since this is very light you don't need to worry about licensing or getting your drone pilot license this allows you to charge it and you can see the USB-C port right there if you want to detach the battery there's this hooks here that allow you to be able to grip and remove the battery so you can pull this off by doing that and now the battery is off and this is about the size of the battery this battery gives you about 11 minutes of flight with the hover ax1 and in this box right here you can see we have the instructions it's very simple since this is self driving you don't need a remote to basically drive it the only time you're going to need your phone is when you are activating it for the first time out of the box or if you want to use your phone as a remote and control it in manual mode so you can see you just press and hold and turn it on and then select the mode that you want and it takes off from the palm of your hand and then there's a front led light that you see right here so this is an indicator light it will tell you whether it's recording or not and once it's flashing green it will be ready to land you place your your hand 20 centimeters below the drone when it's flashing green and then it will start to land or descend slowly so now i want to show you the other charging battery hub that i got from hover this one is basically a dual charging battery hub and it has usb-c as well so you can connect your usb-c hub and charge both batteries at the same time pressing the button here reveals the percentage of the charge that each battery has and now when you put the battery in the hover ax1 like this you can see you unfold it like that very simple to do and then if you press just once it shows you the status of the battery and then if you press and hold current mode custom this time this turns on and it tells you what the current mode is and there's this button here that you know you can press to switch between the different modes so if i press it once hover. so this is hover if i press it again zoom out this is zoom out follow follow orbit orbit bird eye bird eye custom custom and then hover. You can see hover if I press and hold. Five minutes hover. It allows you to be able to change that mode that you are in. So now it will hover for five minutes if I press and hold again. Continue hover. Continuous hover. So it will hover forever until the battery goes low or until I decide to land it using my phone that's here that's going to be connected to it. And then if I press again. 30 seconds so hover. 30 seconds hover so each mode you can basically be able to change it Follow. like this Orbit. and basically you can see once you have the green light there it's ready to go and take off because the design of this drone is enclosed you can see the propellers are not exposed to the outside so this allows you to be able to fly it around people and up close safely without having to have those safety concerns and because it's so small and weighs about 125 grams it folds and fits in the pocket really easy and in most portable bags and camera bags this is one of those cameras that you can easily and quickly just slide in probably the easiest and simplest thing about this drone i just turned it on right there current mode orbit so it turns on and it tells you the current mode and the way you take off is basically once you press this little button here and you select the mode that you want you just have to tap the power button and it will take off from your palm literally if you want you can even grab it from the air or just begin recording at any point in time according to your need in addition to these manual controls and modes that you can quickly change like this and be able to take off 
without needing any remote control hover also allows you to be able to connect to this application that's the hover x1 app and when you open up this application for the first time it will show you what the world is posting and you can see the new post and if you go to moments these are all your recordings that you've done using the hover x1 and if you go to where it says hover right there you can see the hover album and here it shows you some of your downloaded and not yet downloaded so if you go there you'll be able to see if you have any content but then if you go where it says hover x1 settings right there this is where you can choose your flight settings for example example for hover you can choose this uh, duration from 30 seconds all the way to continuous you can also choose target tracking on or off and you can choose if you want vertical mode and if you want to change vertical mode for off lights and you can choose the video quality or resolution that you want to record at you can record 2.7k 30 fps for all modes or you can record 1080p at 60 fps or at 30 fps hdr this is hover mode and for example if we're to demonstrate another mode you can see this is follow mode here you can choose the duration as well from 30 seconds all the way to continuous and you can choose the distance from close standard or far if you go to altitude you can choose flat you can choose low or you can choose high altitude and also you have video or vertical mode rather for TikTok or reels and video quality as well and all these modes that you see here you have and if you want to go to custom mode you can see this is where we have dolly track that I demonstrated on the video and we have snapshot that I also demonstrated so dolly track for example you see you can choose the duration and you can choose the distance as well how close or how far it's going to be and you can also choose the altitude here and if you want vertical mode and you can also enable it here as well as the video quality so all these modes you can be able to do that and when it comes to this you can choose the mode that you want and then if you say switch to custom mode custom you hear you hear it will confirm the mode that you have set and now for example if we go to orbit and choose our settings that we want and set it orbit okay it will tell you the mode and now next time you want to take off you can just basically tap put it on your palm like this and then just tap this button once and then it will count down from three and then it will take off and leave now something also to keep in mind is that if you go back and go to the modes here it gives you like a little preview of what these modes are and how they look like so for example you can see you have a preview of what hover does and if you go back as well we just go back you see these modes here if you want to use Use manual mode you have to make a total of a minimum of five flights and now you can use manual mode right there and if you go to where it says use it you notice manual controls is here and now for example you can see it's giving a preview of how this is going to be and if you want to go into settings you can choose towards me towards outside and then you have camera settings as well as well as the resolution and grid so now if you want to take a photo you can do this or if you want a standard photo you can do that or if you want to be able to use the rc joystick you can see this and you can also start recording as well from your phone like this so i'm now recording a video and it's countdown from three and if i start or oh, that was a picture if i go to the video and click here it's going to count down from three and you can see basically it's now recording and uh, basically if i was mid flight or if i press this button and it begins to fly i can begin to control it here upwards downwards right left and so on so this is basically how this hover ax1 looks i really like the fact that it's simplified it's like your personal 
dedicated flying drone or photographer that's following you everywhere you go you don't need to carry much or to learn much when it comes to using this drone it's very simplified and it gives you about 20 flights or 22 minutes if you have this set that i have here so the battery and then this one here which is plenty enough you can use one battery while charging the other one with this piece and the camera specifications it has like an equivalent of a 35 millimeter lens and the f or aperture is aperture 2.4 and the field of view is about 90 degrees with the hover ax1 so it's capable and very able to be able to you know do everything that's postable to social media nowadays and uh, this is one of the things that's definitely going in my everyday carry so i'll leave a link to uh zero robotics and to the link to this product so shout out to them for giving me a test sample and sponsoring this video if you like it leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video and maybe if you want me to test this further let me know in the comment section below and we'll make that a reality peace